We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef P Peter Cucarello is here. Camille's is the restaurant. Chilean sea bass over caprese risotto is what we're making. Thanks for coming in today. Yeah, anytime. Uh, nice you. to have you here. Uh, Camille's is one is uh, one of those restaurants. You, everybody knows exactly where it yeah, is. Yeah. They know what they're going to get. They know they're going to get great yeah, food. Yeah, long they... history of good food. Absolutely. And this is a dish that's on the menu. Tell us uh, tell us what we need to do to put this together. Uh, well, I mean, risotto is a long process anyway. So okay. you want to start with a little olive oil and butter. Mm -hmm. uh, sweat some of the onions down. Yep. Once you sweat the onions down, you're going to add the uh, risotto to it. You want to toast that up a little bit, nice, nice, and then add your uh, chicken broth slowly and keep stirring and like keep grandma. Moving it. Right, keep yep, moving yep. it. And then you also have the Chilean the sea bass I have the, as well. You have Chilean sea bass as well. Yeah. That's a big piece of that's a big piece that's of fish. That's about there. ten ounces right there. Right. <laughs> when someone is going to pick up maybe some Chilean sea bass, if they can get it every place, what do they need to uh, to look for when you get something like this? Um, I you've mean, been doing this for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you want to get all the moisture out pretty much, so you get a nice sear on it. Okay. So yeah, pan to medium to hot. Uh, Throw it on there, see it nice. Right. Finish it in the oven. And how long does something have to have to something like that have to go to make sure that it's cooked all the way Once through? Once it's in the oven, maybe about seven minutes, okay. eight minutes. And if someone hasn't had Chilean sea bass before, is it a is it a is it's it a fishy very taste flaky, or is it a mild? It's a very fatty uh, fish. Um, it like melts in your mouth. Okay. If you if you ever had like cod or anything, it's right. just like that. It falls apart, flaky. Right. Almost delicious. the same. Almost yep. the same. Almost yep. the same deal. Okay. All right, Peter. Thanks so much. We will put this together. Talk about the restaurant because the holiday days are coming. He's going to be a busy chef in the kitchen. Back to you. Well, yes, I have with Chef Peter from Camille's. And if you're looking for maybe a meatless Monday dish, you want to incorporate more seafood into your diet, or heck, you just like seafood, maybe Chilean sea bass over a caprese risotto is what you're looking for. That's what we're making in the kitchen today. And you're already going. Uh, yeah. Uh, risotto takes a little while to cook, so it does, yeah. I figured I'd start it now. <laughs> okay, so how do we start, or at least for this risotto in particular? Uh, all you need is a little olive oil in the pan with a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. um, once you melt the butter, add some of your onions, sweat those out nice, nice. I've never thought to do olive oil and butter when I sweat out the onions. I usually just do olive oil. Yeah, a lot of people just do olive oil, yeah, but it gives a it a better flavor, richer flavor. Nice so. addition, too. And that's what we look for when we think of risotto, that creamy texture. Yeah, you want texture. a creaminess without adding cream. Ah, good yep. point. All right, Cheese so once those go for a little while, Yep, once you sweat these out, yep, you're going to grab uh, your risotto, mm -hmm. throw it right in. Do you use the aborio rice? Is that yes, traditional? Aborio. Yep. Okay. And we'll get that in there and we'll toast this up nice. Mm -hmm. So you're going to definitely want to watch this for a little bit because you don't want, you're saying you want to just toast the rice. You want to make sure Yeah, you don't want to burn. burn it. Yeah, okay. yeah. You, when, once it starts to smell like uh, popcorn, we'll say mm. it'll be ready to, uh, to add the juice to it. Well, now I want to add some popcorn to this menu as well. <laughs> right? Making me really hungry. Right, butter, popcorn smells. Mm -hmm. Risotto <laughs> is something nice, too. Of, a lot of people, they love to cook. It's not just a chore. It's not just something that's, a, all right, another thing on the list. Yep. This is nice and time-consuming. You yep, got to check yep. on the risotto. You got to tend to it. You got to care that's for it. It's I like it. using a wooden spoon. I feel like my grandma, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, it does. It brings you back. Yeah, so yeah, if you're yeah. Looking to make well, that's how I grew up with day. my grandma. And, you know, I was at home with her speaking Italian, cooking Italian. Wow. Is that so. how you learned a lot of... Uh, yeah, between her and my uncle's restaurant, I mean, we've done a little bit of everything, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'm excited to hear more about uh, how he kind of turned, became this, this chef and learned all these recipes. It's nice when you can pass it down generation to generation. We're passing this menu item on to you, so make sure you find it at Roadshow.com. We're back in the road show Kitchen. Chef Peter, he is wrapping things up. Uh, Camille's is the restaurant. We've got Chilean sea bass over caprese risotto that's what we are putting together we put the sea bass in the oven already to yep. to finish that off to finish to baking it off yep and i broke down the risotto i put it in a smaller pan so it's easier to handle easier to plate got it uh yeah just use a little more of the chicken broth add a little more butter okay which is always good it makes mm -hmm. creamy sure then once this starts to boil a little bit I'm now, before add. you put the sea bass in the oven, though, you did pan sear that for yes, what, I pan sear it. Yeah, a few minutes, just so you get a nice crust on it, nice mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. So yeah, once you get that, you flip it over, and I just throw it right in the oven. And yeah. this is a light flaky fish too. Yep, right? light yeah. flaky okay. fish. You can eat it whenever you want. Uh, okay, see. All right. Now you once. said you cooked this risotto at the restaurant before. Yes, right? I, I ran it as a special, and people ended up liking it so much that they come here just for that. So That's I figured great. I'd show the world. Show it off today. Show it off today. Yeah. So uh, let this go for just a little bit, and then I know you've got some other things you're gonna you're gonna add yeah, to I'm it. Yeah, I'm gonna add uh, the tomatoes, the mozzarella, and the Parmesan cheese. Okay. Mm. All right. Now, um, I know we just wrapped up Halloween, but Thanksgiving, 
Christmas, Christmas parties, office parties, oh, folks yeah, just everything. getting together is and, coming. And, and we got a couple weddings snuck in between too. Wow. That's that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. So you can accommodate time. everything. Yeah, well, yeah, we're we're going. <laughs> we, we don't stop. So it's what's nice. on the what's on the menu now? I mean, I know we talked about the change of the seasons earlier in the um, show as well. Those fall flavors coming into play or ingredients. Yeah, I'm planning on uh, making a new menu just for the fall into the winter. So yeah. mm -hmm. I'm still working on that. Party out dishes, the kinks. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm gonna try making uh, pumpkin gnocchis this weekend, so mm. that we'll good. try that. That sounds great. Well, that must be fun. And as a chef, too, I mean, it, it's gotta be a lot of trial and error, right? Oh, imagine. yeah. Well, all day long, you don't know whether. <laughs> you don't know how it's gonna come out until sure. you make right. it. You right, know what I mean? So. It. And if somebody wants to book their parties, get in touch with you now. Uh, the sooner the better. The sooner the better. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Definitely. You'll fill got up it. quick, that's for so. sure. I mean, you got a great location as well. You yep, and I mean, over on the hill. 105 years, I mean, we're well known. Mm -hmm. A lot of people know us. A lot of people have been coming by for years, so. Right. Yeah. yeah. And for parties, how many people can they accommodate? Up, uh, in, I've had parties of hundreds, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Whatever you guys want, we'll do. Just give us uh, Just give time. Just give you time <laughs> to get, get on. Give us a little heads up. Yeah, just give a little heads up. Okay. <laughs> How long is the basket going to sit in the, uh, in the oven for? Uh, about seven, eight minutes. Okay. So I'm going to okay. be taking it out uh, right now and we'll check it. I mean, that is a, a thick cut of fish. Yeah. You have your thermometer in there. I know a lot of people are maybe familiar with the temperature of that they want either their steak or that they like their chicken. What temperature are you looking for when it comes to fish? Uh, I mean, you can eat this like a, like a medium rare kind of, a okay. little bit over. I usually don't even temp it. Once I put the probe through it, you'll uh -huh. feel a little pushback. If there's a pushback, it's not ready. Okay, oh, okay. so it's right. more so, you know so for the feel. Yeah, I'm that more you're of a feel more. kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, once you've been doing <laughs> right. this for yeah, a while. Yeah, for a while. All right, now we'll add some cheese. Mm. I like I, a lot of cheese. We've had different cheese risottos on our show before, but I don't think we've ever had a caprese risotto. Right. Or anything, yeah. With yeah, it was just tomatoes. an idea I had over the summer, and I'm like, you know what? People like risotto, people like uh, caprese. Let me mm -hmm. just add it together. Well, why Some not? I, I, I love cheese, so I just added extra. That looks you great. <laughs> that looks really good. Pardon. Get some basil in there. Okay. Kind of adding that in last minute. Keep the yeah. integrity of the basil. That's it. And Peter, this looks like this could be added with anything. You could put anything. You can put anything in the risotto. Yeah. I know you're serving this with fish, but you could serve this with anything. Yep. Mm. Even by itself is delicious. Right. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. the string of the cheese. You yeah, see that? It's already started. started. Yep. It's starting really to pull. That looked really so, good. Yeah. Well, that okay. looks great. All We're right. going to let our sea bass go for a little while, but look how quickly that came together. What a, right. what a delicious take on the risotto. Jeff, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for nope, being no here. No problem. Thank you That's guys great. for having thanks. me. Make sure you visit him on the hill over at Camille's, and if you want this recipe, you can go to roadshow.com.